Hello, I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge and RPG Maitre d'. I'm usually here to answer your gaming and game night questions, always striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Today, we are answering the very important question of what's in this box. That's right, this is our Cardboard Coat Check segment, where we unbox various games. Now, this is the new Shadowrun 6th World 6th Edition Shadowrun Beginner Box Set. This um, is the latest thing to come out in the Shadowrun universe from Catalyst Game Labs. Uh, they promise that it is a better, more streamlined version of the rules that has ever been out. Now, my personal experience with Shadowrun is minimal. I did not play Shadowrun back in the day. It is not a system I grew up with. I will admit I was a gaming snob. And I was a cyberpunk fan, and I wasn't going to touch this license with a 10-foot pole. Uh, but I'm a more mature gamer now, and I'm more curious to find out what all the buzz is about. Now, I did check out the Shadowrun 5th Edition Beginner Box. And you can find that review at my website, Tabletop... Excuse me. At my website, TabletopBellhop.com. I will just say, I won't go over it here, I was not a big fan of that box. I did not think it was a great intro for someone who didn't already know Shadowrun. I am hoping this box is different. Now, I went to Catalyst Game Labs at Origins, and in the um, spirit of full disclosure, they did give me a copy of this box to review. After I told them that I was not a fan of their 5th edition box, and asked if this did a better job, they basically said, well, why don't you let us know? So that's what I'm hoping to do. You'll be able to see that review in the future on our podcast, the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which you can find on your podcatcher of choice, and on the webpage, tabletopbellhop.com. But I'm jumping ahead. First off, first step, we got to open this up. So you're going to get to see me open this up and hear my thoughts live as I see what's in this box for the first time, same time you do. So the only thing I've got with me is a hobby knife that I'm just going to use to cut the shrink wrap. Um, I am not going to read everything on the box back here. I'm just going to show you what's inside. There's quite a bit of background and why you might want to pick this up. I do say the art is evocative. I dig it. Um, interestingly, nothing overtly fant fantasy until you realize the uh, street samurai. I know some of the terminology has pointy ears. Uh, not a lot of magic or anything going on in the front of the box. And on the back, you just got an elf looking, I'm going to assume woman, uh, smoking a cigarette. So I guess some bad habits don't go away in the future. So we're going to take a look at this Shadowrun book. This says, take a first look at the new edition of Shadowrun. I will read that out. Already, I am more impressed by the quality of the physical box. This is like an old school box set, whereas the 5th edition beginner box was one of those boxes where you just open the top. This is a nice solid, like this is this is not going to get crushed on my shelf standing up between a couple hardcover rule books. Big props for a better box, very shiny, nice and solid. You can kind of see how thick that is. It's a nice box. We have an ad for the full game. I guess that works as a way to start. Uh, it is the cyberpunk future, so we're going to have ads everywhere. Uh, celebrate their 13th anniversary with a new rule set. 13th anniversary, wow. So it's just a little one sheet. Um, oh, and then here is your quick start. Where to start? What to read first? So this is going to tell me how to use everything else in the box. I'm obviously not going to read through it. Um, lots of art. Text is pretty easy to read even from my old eyes. Uh, does know that they're at their six-sided dice hasn't changed. There's going to be an instant guide to the sixth world. Um, fit with your characters like hand to grip. Um, there are four character dossiers. There's cards. Interesting. Uh, quick start rules, battle royale, and a poster. Now that you know what to do, get moving. So up next is the instant guide to the sixth world, which I apologize. There we go. Not bad light there. Oh, very, very thin. Very short. Okay. Not a lot. That's an instant, very rough overview, I guess, of the sixth world. That's not a lot of background. Now, again, maybe that's good. Maybe that's bad. I know the last set had a rather extensive little book, and that was the best part. Then we have Rude, the Troll Street Samurai. You said non-lethal. He ain't dead. You gonna nap till he bleeds out? I do the job. I get paid. Yes, it's nice. Art's very evocative. 
Everyone in Shadowrun smokes, it seems. I dig it. Um, character sheets, looks like. I'm going to hold this. There we go, at a good angle. Not a lot of art on the inside. Looks step-by-step. Step. It's going to explain everything. Plus, a bunch of, A role-playing tips. Love seeing that in a game that's often more about combat and items. An example run. That's cool. Goes a few pages. Example run. I don't know. I'm going to guess that's a solo thing you play through by yourself. Very cool. All right. I'm not going to empty up, open up everyone. We got four dossiers here, I think. So we have Frostburn, an orc combat mage. I dig that the orc's a female. Again, love the art. That is the one thing that even though I was never a Shadowrun fan or growing up, I was more of a cyberpunk fan. I always did dig the art style. Just for me, I didn't want elves with my cyberware. I wanted my elves fighting dragons in D&D. But hey, I am more than interested to give this a chance. Next, we have you, the elf covert ops specialist. I also dig that the elves don't all just look like Caucasian dudes. That's a nice touch. Um, oh, nice. There's tables on the back specific to that character. Zip file, the dwarf Decker, a female dwarf. Again, props for the diversity efforts there. I do appreciate that. Though I still think female dwarves should have beards. Uh, again, same thing. Role-playing tips, preferred tactics, and there's an example run. And the example run is for you to play out on your own. Cool. Dig it. Oh, there's some shades of Akira coming on this next cover. Here are the quick start rules. Significant thickness here compared to the other one. Uh, we are looking at... No page numbers, so I can't tell you how long it is. Oh, these are the Game Master reference tables. There's the quick... 20 pages. 20 pages of rules. And one, two, three... Okay, you know you got an old school RPG. I, 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 gotta, I gotta rag on Shadowrun without even playing it yet. When you have one... Two, three, four pages of tables. It's definitely a traditional style RPG, even if they have streamlined it. You've got a, you got a definite old school. Any game that requires that many tables is uh, a little far away from the indie gaming scene. Nice art on the pages. Two column layout. Looks easy to read. Text is big. They've got call outs in a darker color. That's always nice. Not a lot of art, I'm surprised, for how much amazing artwork there is in Shadowrun. Yeah, like that's it. Two pages worth of almost all text, except some kind of techy looking building. Yeah, I okay, I guess I would have liked more art. For how much I like the art, I'm surprised they don't show it off more. Like, there we go. This is really four pages in a row with an apartment building. There we go. Here's some art. And again, smoking. What's with everyone smoking? Everyone in Shadowrun smokes. I quit a long time ago. I don't need that temptation. I'm not that upset about it. All right, here's some cool art. So despite the fact the cover didn't look very much magic, the inside art is definitely playing up the magic element. All right, looks good. Battle Royale Adventure. So it looks like they finally got us out of the 7-Eleven fight. Fast food or food fight or whatever it's called. Uh, Shadowrun fans know what I'm talking about. Anyone who picked up the last edition... Oh, no, I'm wrong. There's the stuffer shack. There it is. Okay. So one of my complaints about the other edition of the game was that the entire book is supposed to be about running, doing a shadow run, doing a heist, basically. It's a heist-based RPG. But the sample adventure was a fight in a 7-Eleven, and that made no sense to me. What's really cool is I'm just flipping through this. They included the fight at the 7-Eleven. So there's a nod to people ever since the first edition of Shadow Run. That's cool, they include that, I dig it. But it's part of a full shadow run. I appreciate that. Right here, this puts this like miles ahead of the other starter set. Just because the sample adventure lets me play the game that the box promises to be. Plus it looks like this isn't going to be a one hour fight. This looks like a full adventure. I dig it. This is a nice thick thing. Though this map made me worry. That map over there. Oh, the corpse. Yeah, I dig it. Oh, look at this. There is a list of NPCs. Talk about GM being able to flesh out the setting. I dig that too. So you're going to get more than one adventure out of this box. I dig it. Then we have a poster. Uh, for, let's see. We'll back up. And we'll... So there you go. We have the sprawl. And then we have the map of the Stuffer Shack. And some kind of warehouse. 
Very shiny. Uh, this is not going to play well in my basement. My basement has overhead lights. So it's still set in Seattle. It's the Seattle Metroplex. And I know that's a, a traditional thing. Uh, then we have dice. Ooh, pretty. Very pretty dice. Not just D6s. Not just D6s. Let's see. We have... Why is the... F okay. Fives and sixes are probably hits, is my guess. So the one is like a demon symbol. And then the two, three, and four all have like circuit board patterns. But they're still easy to read. And then the five and the six have the shadow run snake symbol. I dig it. I like them. Even though pink on black is a little hard to see. But throwing them all down here in the box, that's pretty easy to read. I like it. And cards. Didn't they read all the negative feedback from 4th edition Dungeons and Dragons? Don't they realize role-playing players hate cards? Personally, I like them. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 3rd edition, which managed to get an entire rule book condensed down to a set of cards so I didn't have to keep flipping through the rule book. I could just reference my cards to know what my character could do. I appreciate cards. This, to me, is a big step forward, especially with a game with tons of tables. So what you have is your weapons, right? Uh, gun porn is a thing. It's Shadowrun. We know that. We should know that if we have this. So you have your gun and all your stats. You have another gun and all your stats. And, of course, these are still all guns, 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 swords. So here you have that. That's a whole stack of guns. It's, it's a thing. Shadowrun is big on equipment. I expected that. But I dig this versus a huge... Equipment chart, right? Hey, you got a katana. Here you go. Here's your stats. Right there. Katana, knife, club, extendable baton, bike chain, armor jacket. Now we have armor, so all your armor's here. Do I got to say it's it, <laughs> yeah, a bit of waste in a way, but it's still nice, right? Like there's so little information. Here's where Catalyst could have stepped it up a bit. Some art would have been really nice there, especially on a card with that little info. Like all of these, all, all this armor. You got one line of text on a card this big. Odd choice. Sensory Emperor Comlinks. Comlinks. White noise generators. A Ford Americar. So you got vehicles. Harley Davidson. Somehow they had got the Ford and the Harley Davidson licenses, I guess. Programs. So you got your, your net running or whatever they call it in this. Um, there appears to only be one of each item. So I guess... Uh, if two people in your party have a katana, you got to share the card. I would assume, since this does come with pre-generated characters, that they don't overlap any equipment. Exploits, overclock, cyber decks, uh, spells. Again, there's not a lot to see here. It's just some tables. There's some little flavor text at the bottom. That's kind of nice. Stun bolt, combat spells, and then NPCs. As a DM, big fan. Big fan of NPC cards. Yeah, I dig it. I like the cards. I know some people may not. I am a big fan of taking the information from all these books and distilling it down to these. Big fan of that. So that's it. That is everything that's in this box. Uh, already, I gotta say, I like the look of it better than the 5th edition. Actual rules, we won't know. I was really hoping they'd fit in the thing for the card so they're not sliding all over. Um, so one thing that is slightly worrying, if they did simplify it, I assume we're going to have big gas dice pools because that's still a lot of dice. That's. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be rolling a 6d6 attack. How many dice do I have here? I have 12 dice? Yeah, 12d6 here. So I don't think they shrunk the dice pools much. I still think it's going to be the game about rolling a heap full of dice at once. Poster map's cool. Everything's very shiny. Um, the adventure looks good. The adventure looks like a Shadow Run. Thank you. I can't believe I bought a box set that's supposed to teach me to play Shadow Run that didn't include a Shadow Run. I found that just wrong. <laughs> really nice character dossiers. I will be checking this out in the coming weeks. I gotta admit, the review for this is probably gonna be a while. Uh, me getting a role playing game to the table is a lot more difficult than board games. Um, I probably wouldn't have unboxed this today, but my fans on Twitter really wanted to see this, so I grabbed it out of the pile a little earlier than I would have. So that is the Shadowrun Sixth World Beginner Box. Um, I gotta say, just 
on initial impressions, miles ahead of the fifth edition. I don't know about rules, but components, what's in here, what it's trying to teach you. There's not half a novel in here. There's not a ridiculously thick book that tells you all about how you're going to do shadow runs, and then an adventure that's not a shadow run. This this looks solid. And speaking of solid, that's a nice box. It's not one of those flimsy flip open the top, and the first time you put it on your shelf, it gets crushed by the two books next to it. I dig it. I'm impressed. Uh, Catalyst Game Labs. Shadowrun, Sixth World Beginner Box. Look forward to uh, reviewing that in the future. Speaking of the review, you can find reviews of games like this, board games and role-playing games and possibly miniature games. I haven't done a miniature game in a while. Over at tabletopbellhop.com. Uh, in general, we answer your gaming game night questions. We want to be a dear Abby for gamers, so I want you to send your questions to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. Then you can find the answers to those questions three different ways. You can read the answers on the blog, tabletopbellhop.com. You can watch the answers live Wednesday nights, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, as myself and my co-host Sean record our episode of the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, answering your questions. Or you can listen to a edited version of that live show released on your favorite podcatcher, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you want to find us as the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. So you can watch it, you can read it, you can listen to it, or if you really want, do all three. I'm cool with that. You can find some other cool stuff on the website, including lists of other podcasts that are worth checking out, YouTube channels, other streamers, and tabletop crafters. You'll find that just underneath our title, the Tabletop Bellhop logo. For Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo T, Maurice Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop himself. This has been a cardboard coat check where we unbox this Shadowrun, new Shadowrun 6 edition box set from Catalyst Game Labs. Before you go, it'd be awesome if you hit that subscribe or follow button. If you dig the content you just saw and have checked out other stuff and appreciate what we've been doing, it'd be awesome if you headed to patreon.com forward slash tabletop bellhop and considered tipping the bellhop. For Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo T. Good night and game on.